okay, you're using a ceramic to tile design in your new bathroom, and the tiles that you're using are equilateral triangles. You can see six tiles here in the illustration. You arrange the tiles as shown. If the side of each tile is four centimeters, what will be the exact area of each, each hexagonal shape? Well, remember, for the area of a um, polygon, and I should put the area of a polygon, regular polygon formula in here, why not? to get in here is one half the apothem length times the perimeter. So let's write that down. Area equals one half the apothem length times the perimeter. And they're telling us that it's got a side of four. So this measures four. And so all the way around is 24. So we already know some information that we want to know. Area equals one half times, we'll figure out the apothem length in a second, but the perimeter is 24. Okay, now let's figure out the apothem length. So let's drop an apothem right there and say, okay, because it's a hexagon, and this is a big key with all of this, is if it's a hexagon, then we've, we're forming special triangles. So we've got this apothem length times half of that side length of four, so that makes that two, okay, and then the side here. And of course, we've got a 90 degree angle. So anytime we know the short leg is two, we know that the long leg, or in this case, the apothem, is two times the square root of three. So that's what we've got here for an apothem length, two root three. And we'll, we're gonna write that into the formula then. 2 root 3, okay? And then if we say, okay, what's 1 half of 2 root 3? That is 1 root 3, or just root 3. Root 3 times 24, 24 root 3. What are the units? Centimeters. We found the area, so that's centimeters squared. And Let's box that answer because I like it, but then let's look up top and see if we've actually given that as an option, and we did get that as an option. That was D. Okay, so the trick here is if you know that these are equilateral triangles, and for uh, hexagons they will be, then the apothem length is going to be half of, half of the side length, half of 4 is 2, times root 3. Now you know the apothem, and you can figure out the perimeter. Just plug all that in and